So this is cask strength. Fabulous. 53.7. 8, 53.8. 53.8. Uh, and this is what I call my dusky corn whiskey. It's malted corn, malted wheat, malted barley. It's a bourbon mash sort of bill. And then this one has been aged in new American oak and then finished in a maple syrup barrel. I mean, off the bat, great nose, right? I'm hitting the, um, the yellow corn right away. It's, yeah. It stands out for me. And just that bit of sweetness um, mm -hmm. from the maple. Uh, so there's just a hint of that kind of horse hay uric acid, right? Which doesn't sound like it's a good note, but it is a good note. It's what you want. <laughs> it's what you want. So, uh, so what, what, what is that? Because I actually don't know. Oh, it's um, uh, basically, it kind of smells a little bit like a uh, stable. Ah, right? yes. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I actually get that quite a bit across my spirits and I quite yeah. like it. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a desirable, highly it? desirable. Yeah. That's good because I enjoy it. <laughs> I grew up on a farm <laughs> and I love the smell. It's very well described. Thank you. Usually I would just say green grass. <laughs> mm. Like, um, but like almost dried green grass, you know, in the field sort of thing. That's sort of, mm -hmm. like, yeah. It's quite Ooh. sweet, eh? It's very sweet, but it's very, uh, it's a, got a real um, toasted sweetness to it, right? Yeah, so yeah. it's mm. it's French toast with that little bit of char and the pan going on. There's quite a bready element to the sweetness, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, really like it's really big in the mouth straight away but mm. even at that cast strength it's t um it's actually quite approachable yeah hey. I mean, yeah there's definitely some underlying cast character that i think is coming through yeah. it's not dominated by the maple yeah. which is nice no um but the maple is certainly really present like that first <laughs> sip is just like whoa hello it's it's a wonderfully complex sweetness that it's not just a oh bourbon vanilla caramel you know, there's, there are some wonderful layers going on um, added to with the, the, the maple, the different grains that you have used. I, I mean, I can only echo what she's been saying because, yeah, it's, it's wonderfully layered, wonderfully complex, big and chewy when you have that sip that I'm hoping. If, if the water can just take the edge off of that heat without kind of diluting the, the mouthfeel too much, I really think you're onto a winner. Interestingly, right, just with a couple of, in combination, it's been sitting in the glass for a little bit, uh, but also adding a few drops of water, and the nose starts to open up to, like, maple toffee yeah, character, yeah, right? Those yeah, Canadian yeah. candies. Yeah. Uh, you know, well, yeah. Oh, of course I know. Um, <laughs> of course. 